Hello, Rise Pun Frugal Streamer. I want to talk about something that I think is really important, especially in the situation we're in right now with lockdown and this whole virus that we're having to deal with, uh, is the demand for live streaming. I mean, for all kinds of situations now, just for playing music and all kinds of people are getting into these live streams and they're looking for a webcam and they're looking for a capture device to be able to capture uh, their DSLRs, mirrorless cameras. And they're, what they're finding is, number one, the supply is short and what supply there is, they are astronomically priced right now. A C920, for instance, online right now is $150, um, if you can find one. And they're mostly from third-party vendors and people trying to sell them, under, trying to take advantage of people who want to buy these things. And number two, uh, like the 4K Cam Link, I mean, third-party vendors are selling these things for hundreds of dollars now. Where I bought one about a year ago for less than 150 it's ridiculous these prices but look there's options out there for people that you already have the tools available to make your own webcam using your mobile device so go, let's go ahead and get into this i'm going to show you a couple ways that you can do this and use it in your broadcast software so that you have a more than capable webcam actually probably a better version than a webcam uh, to get your video online so that you can use it for whatever purpose you may be wanting to use it for. So let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so the first version I want to show you is from a company called New Tech. All right, so New Tech come, makes NDI protocol. And if, you've, if you're familiar with this channel, you know about NDI. I have been talking about it. I use it personally. I love it to death. And they have made a phone app that turns your phone into an NDI camera. Okay. NDI, NDI capable camera. NDI sends video, high quality video and audio over your network to any device that can receive NDI. And that includes most of the broadcast softwares out there, including OBS, which I'm going to show you today. But to do that, you need to install something. All right, so this is the OBS NDI plugin that you need to install. You can I will provide the link in the description. But to get there, you need to do a couple things. You need to install the NDI 4.5 Windows Runtimes, restart your PC, then install the uh, plugin installer for either Windows or Apple. Okay, so this is you can do this on both Windows and Apple, which is awesome. Once you install that, you will then have the ability to do NDI sources, which I have it already set up right here so that you can uh, then use it. And it will basically pick any NDI device that you choose to display on your uh, preview screen and then go out to your live stream. All right, so what I have here is I have the device on my Galaxy S7. Now, they no longer support this for Android devices. So mainly now, if you didn't get on this early like I did, the only way you can do this is if you have an Apple phone. And uh, I don't know what the latest version is or what the oldest uh, iOS that supports this is, but um, it is available for Apple devices. And I think it's probably gonna be like 10 bucks. I think that's what I paid for it when it came out, maybe 20. Anyway, I do have it on my phone and it does work well. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, press play or press record and it should hopefully set up my device here. Should. So there it is. You can see it. I'm turning it around. You can see it's almost latency free. I mean, it really it is. It, it does a uh, really good job. And it does support audio too. So if you have a, if you, you know, you have a microphone plugged up to your phone, um, it will send the audio over and I will show you that right now because it should be on this. Just right. So there you there go. You, you can, can kind of hear, hear it. it. I'm going to mute, mute this. And I'm talking now over my internal mic on the phone and um, it works pretty well. So you can, you can mute this thing. Um, you can see the microphone there. I can mute it. And then you have all these controls for like, uh, let's see, you got high quality video. You got the little Wi-Fi symbol here. If you tap that, um, it will increase the video. Uh, you can switch your cameras around. So now I'm looking at me. Uh, 
there's exposure increases and decreases you have a light you can turn on if you're using the front facing camera you got a grid for the rule of thirds that you can use you can zoom in and out with it i mean there's tons of options there available and it works really well and you can see that it's not bad i mean it looks pretty good right i mean for a cam i know i'm ugly but hey it does a good job um, i think and yeah it's cheap it's a great way to uh, live stream um, if you're doing educational stuff, if you're doing a podcast and you need a video feed for a camera, hey, it works great, right? All right, so the second option we want to talk about is a an app I've just recently downloaded and bought for $10, and it does support both Android and Apple, brand new, and it's called a IV Cam. All right, so now let's bring up IV Cam here. All right, so this is an this is a PC client device you download and then you download the app on your phone. And this is free to try out. And uh, the free version has a watermark that you will have to deal with. Okay. Uh, but it supports up to 4K video. And you can uh, get the app. And once you install the app and you, and you add the uh, IP of your pc to the to the app so it knows where to look you will then get a webcam that works on your computer just like so and so i'll put that down here and what you can do now is since this is a windowed app okay you can then make a uh a window source which i think i have done here yeah, so this is the window source that you can uh, crop to your, you know, liking. As you can see here, I've cropped the edges off. Um, if you look at the actual program, let me reset the transform here, and you'll see what it actually looks like. So this is what the full window looks like, and you have controls here that you can set up at the bottom uh, that work well. I mean, you can do all your different settings here. You can... Uh, actually record video you can take a screenshot of you while you're doing this um, it's all there you can also do all this on your phone too which is cool it also has like a filter like a i guess it's like a snapchat thing that does that kind of thing i'm not real big on it personally um, it does have mirroring so you can mirror your, your camera you can switch your different cameras from front to back just like the other app the issue i found is that if you minimize it by accident, then you lose your feed. Uh, it does not stay up and run and it still doesn't feed. So that's something you gotta kind of keep in mind. Uh, but it does work well. And uh, it was $10 on the Google Play for the full version. And I imagine it's the same price for the Apple. And yeah, so it's really cool. I like it a lot and it seems to work really well. So, and again, you just need a Wi-Fi connection or it also says you can use this over USB. So that's nice too. I have not actually tested that out yet. Uh, but I will give it a shot, and we'll see how that works too. But anyway, I mean, that's it. There's two options there available for you to try that will work well, I think, for most people. And, it, you know, hey, $10 and $20 beats spending $400 or $150 on a webcam and a, or a capture device, right? So anyway, I uh, hope this video helped you out. Um, I think it's a big deal that, uh, you know, people have access like this to something that is affordable that can actually give you a little bit better quality uh, video, I believe, than a webcam. So anyway, hope you guys have a great weekend. I hope this helped you out. If it did, hit the like. Let me know in the comments what you've done. I'd love to see the uh, result of your live stream using, a, using your mobile phone as a webcam. Uh, but other than that, I know uh, a lot of people are out there looking for something like this. So I help, hope this helps you out and meets your needs. Other than that, I have socials are down below in the description. Make sure you check them out. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, on my Twitch. Join my Discord. Lots of information there that you can use. Other than that, I just hope you guys have a great weekend, and we'll see you later.